Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for M Creator. Today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at how the buckets from my couple tutorials ago can be used to basically create fish buckets as well and we'll be using um, just a little bit of more code to basically create a fish bucket. Uh, it's not too much different than the original, it's just a couple things that we're doing a little bit differently. Outside of that, uh, we're turning in basically a water bucket into a fish bucket when we right click on the entity. And then there is a little bit, something a little bit different with the tropical fish. Now tropical fish are, have um, data values which are very specific to what kind of fish and it can't be currently tested for um, what kind of value the fish is in Amcrater at the moment. So what I've done is just made it random so when you pick up the fish it just changes the item and then when you right click on uh, the block then it places the water source and the fish but the fish will be random so that's the only difference with the tropical fish that I can really think that would be different but other than that it should work exactly the same way for um, as a regular bucket as a salmon or a I think the puffer fish actually have different textures as well I'm not sure though and then there should be the same for salmon and cod so you should be able to have the same fish regardless with those two so let's uh, hop in, in survival and we will quickly take a demonstration how this all works so game mode survival and we will grab just the buckets over here I have a couple uh, tropical fish regular buckets and then I have some water buckets that I've just put in here so we can go up here and We'll hop in the water. We don't need to be in the water when we do it, but it's just a little easier to uh, place the uh, fish around. So we got a pink one there. And we got a gray one. And we got another gray one. That one's a little bit different. So if we right click on the... Whoa. Uh, whoa. What's going on there? Apparently we just lost two buckets. So if we right click on the, uh, the bucket or the fish with the, um, what do you call it, the water bucket then what happens is we basically pick up a uh, oak tropical fish bucket and if we place it down as you can see it's a little bit different. So that's basically how that works and it's always going to be different depending on what one. Sounds like the sound's also messed up, so let's go fix those two things up. So we're in Amcrater now, and I fixed the audio sound for the bucket. Sometimes when there's a large file or whatever, then for the procedure, it will set it to the ambient um, sound for the cave, which is basically the default state. I'm not sure why it does that, but it seems to be a bug. But other than that, uh, let's take a look at what we've added. We added a tropical fish bucket, so that's just a regular item. And if we go to triggers, and there is one for when right-clicked on block, and what this will do is run a procedure very similar to the one that we have for the water bucket. It's The only difference is we're basically executing a command called summon, and then we're doing Minecraft, and then tropical fish. And then the uh, little kind of squirrely bracket things um, or dashes that are found on the number sign to get the relative location. And then we're just offsetting it uh, based on the coordinates for those particular locations so the fish doesn't get stuck in the block. So each one of these is a little bit different. This one's positive one for Y, this one's negative one. And then uh, we also offset the x y and z ones as well now if you wanted to spawn your own entity you can do that too uh, you don't necessarily need to do it through a summon command uh, although it is possible to do that as well if you go under entity management and scroll down until you find uh, let's see here where is it there is a option for spawning an entity it's just a matter of finding where it is uh, let's see. Um, it's 
on location. I think it was somewhere near the top. So entity that could be wrong. One sec, I'll try to find it. Okay, so it's actually under world management, not entity management. And you can find that under the uh, couple, it's near the top, you scroll down and there's one called spawn at X, Y, and Z living entity. And then there's that one. And you could also spawn the uh, using, I think there's a couple other options. There's one with the yaw and pitch direction. And then there's one with the velocity that you can spawn as well. I would just basically go with this one right here. This one will be fine. And then what you would do is just basically replace the execute command uh, coordinates. So rather than have that like that, you would basically go like this and just duplicate the uh, actual locations and you would basically set it up like that for each individual one. Other than that, that's all that you need to do for actually spawning the entity. Uh, to get the, the actual entity's location though, that's a little bit different. Uh, you need to create a global variable. So I have created, I think this is the other procedure. I've created a global variable for player right clicks on entity. And then I'm basically testing for the entity itself. So you will be able to choose your entity if you want a custom entity in here as well. And just make sure that's to true. And then you want to get the bucket, uh, water bucket for your custom bucket. And then what you want to do is just uh, basically set the main hand item to your f fish bucket. So we already know that the item in the main hand is a water, uh, custom water bucket of the type. So we can just replace the main hand item with a fish bucket. And then we just despawning the entity. Make sure that the source entity though is the one that you're testing for the item in the main hand and also with you're setting the bucket to, or you're going to basically despawn the entity if you uh, set it up the other way around. Uh, the event slash trigger should be the entity that you're right clicking on where the source entity, source entity is the player itself. So that's important, especially when you're about to despawn something. <laughs> Outside of that, that's all that there is to basically uh, fill you guys in on. Uh, there's just two procedures to basically update that. It, the first procedure, this one right here, is basically just a cloned version of the water bucket procedure, which is right here. So we have basically just cloned this one and uh, added it to basically spawn a fish. So again, if you want to basically spawn a different type of fish that's vanilla, what you can do is you can either do it through the what do you call it? The uh, world management through spawn entity, this one right here, or you could do it through command like I did here and this will work as well. So hopefully you guys found today's tutorial useful. If you're new to my channel, please consider su subscribing if you're new and uh, also leave a comment and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.